Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Weight Watcher, Cape Cod Woman, and Pearls of Wisdom and Food on Facebook. And here we go. It is Friday. And if you're like me, you're running out of time. You need to make decisions. And um, for me, it's, it's different types of choices that are like right here on my horizon. <clears throat> Thank you for joining me with my second cup of Bulletproof Coffee. And um, welcome, if you haven't been here before. This gets a little fun sometimes, a little smackdown sometimes. And um, sometimes it's just stupid little bathrobe chatter. But um, my mission is to make all of you feel the best that you can feel, weigh what you've always wanted to weigh, and more. And so here we are. We are really in the week of the new Weight Watchers rollout, which is wicked, wicked exciting. And I'm reading all the different things. Of course, you know, not really um, having the time to do it as much as I'd like, but um, it's kind of exciting. And I'm love, loving reading the reactions. And some people are rolling with it and some people are struggling and resisting, but we'll see how it rolls out. Um, but so far, what I haven't read is, is anybody raising, are they raising the um, fees yet? Um, somebody, I think it might have been Veronica in England, said that they raised it $3 over there. So anyway, it's Friday. It's December 11th. Ack! <laughs> and that is not the airport in Nantucket for those that are rich enough to have their own plane to fly there. Okay, so here we are. And it's Friday. And if you're like me, you have lots of different things, perhaps for the weekend. And um, we don't want a messy Monday. So this is my recipe. And I'm actually going to take a page from my recipe because it's, it's a recipe that takes a few pages. I have three women coming here today at noon. And we have a two-hour session once a month. And we talk about things like self-care, money, debting ourselves, meaning that we do too much for others and not enough for ourselves. And it's rather love lively. And we are old souls that have been, um, you know, together for a number of years, a couple of us, almost two decades. And so it's, it's just rather nice. It's rather comfy. And it's like no other group, really. It's, um, we do have focus and um, goals, and so it's kind of cool. And so for me, um, I use this group, group to discuss my um, hoarding and my hoarding of um, too many clothes and my hoarding of too much food. And since I moved from high fat or from um, eating grains and um, added sugar, which really, well, anyway, from the grain part, um, <clears throat> I've had a lot of... Um, unhoarding that I've done. I've made a lot of donations of um, food, a lot of pastas and um, granolas and my kashi cereal and things like that. So um, my storage and hoarding is going down and I've also uh, donated tons and tons and tons of clothes to Salvation Army clothes that I hope I would never fit into again. And with the high fat low carb I guess that's possible. The pound that I was um, perseverating about is gone, so that's good. And um, I didn't do it anything. I didn't do anything different. It wasn't like I had any no-nos or naughty things. Um, it's just I must have been stress eating a larger portion of something, something, or maybe sodium. I don't know. I don't know. What do I know? So, um, so I've got some choices today. I haven't done any emails yet. And um, I usually do them after I do this quick video, but I haven't done them. I've did, I did some banking, and um, another passion of mine is, um, you know, the stock market, the money market, and stuff like that. And so I sold some stuff that wasn't doing so good because I listened to the business channel, and I just went shopping, and, um, you know, for stuff um, in my retirement account. So that was kind of fun. I don't get to do that too often. And so my um, decision right now is whether um, 
I, I don't walk and I vacuum and make the house pretty. Greg has run out of creme brulee, can you imagine? So I've got to do another double batch for him because he's used to one a night now. <laughs> so anyway, <clears throat> I've got some choices to make and um, I'm thinking that the walk is probably important um, with the stress of the day. And then I've got my 12th step meeting that I will attend at 8.30. So anyway, I've got some fun for the day, some must-dos for the day. It's kind of cool. And um, it, it will either all get done or it won't get done. But um, knowing me, it will get done. And, um, you know, apologies to my guests if something isn't sparkling clean. So it's usually the bathroom and the bistro table, right? So, here it is Friday, and you want to take care of yourself, protect yourself, arm yourself, track for the weekend. You don't want to get into a messy Monday. This is what you've worked for. This is what you want. Remember it. All those days in April or May or even September or October, once the kids go back to school, to go back to the gym, to really work on tracking every day, not just like, you know, once every other week. And especially now with the new system, you probably need to dedicate a couple of hours to learning how it goes. And so there's a lot of um, self-care and um, alone time to get to know your new program, your new friend, um, and just get past some of the humps, um, be they technological or your own resistance to um, the new program and I'm going to stick with the old and all that kind of stuff. I don't know if you have any choice. So um, think of yourself first. The rest gets taken care of. I've, I, you know, it, it just does. And so um, I want you to make sure that if you do exercise on a regular basis, you don't let that go. It's a great stress reliever, right? That's why we do it, as well as maintaining what we've got. <clears throat> and tracking your food and making sure some good food comes into the house so you're not grabbing and going with something that um, might not be in your best interest. If you're high fat, low carb like me, that means, you know, taking care of yourself. Um, if you're out shopping, it means nuts. It means things like that. Um, you know, for me, I only have my fruit, my organic berries um, once a day at noon. So um, I always look forward to that, and I don't do it unconsciously because I just love my berries. So I, I don't do it while I'm zoning out or standing or any of those things. So you don't want to have a messy Monday. And so whatever is happening Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, as well as Sunday afternoon and Saturday afternoon with any get-togethers or whatever it is, the expectations of your household, you need to take it slow and do it. You know, if, if you can throw something into the crock pot, if you have to do a rotisserie chicken from the store that you swore you'd never buy again that's loaded with sodium and pumped full with stuff, oh well, right? I mean, there's just a, a few times in your um, probably food cooking thing where you just have to rely on a little help and, um, you know, do the best you can with whatever those ingredients are. Um, I did buy a rotisserie chicken. It was delicious. It was applewood smoked at Stop and Shop. And um, I ended up having salads with some of it, probably an ounce and a half in it for three days. Greg had um, most of it. But I looked at the ingredients as I was tossing away the rest of it. And because um, it is dubious and, sus and suspicious, right? It's got carrageenan in it. It's like, what? You know, like, so dairy products aren't the only place where it lurks. It's like, what's up with that? So anyway, um, sometimes we just have to go with the flow. And I had a day that I worked until 5, and I had to go with the flow. Um, don't beat yourself up if you're buying something like that, a rotisserie chicken. It's got stuff pumped in it. And you're having, um, you know, a serving of like four or less ounces with it, with your veggies or your salad or your whatever, um, and you're staying abstinent and true to your program, that's good. Sometimes there's a good enough. But if you're grabbing, you know, a Stouffer's lasagna or Stouffer's mac and cheese, oh God, didn't I love those, and having that and thinking that that's not exposing yourself to binge-type foods, um, 
you're cuckoo, you're crazy, you're cray cray. And so don't do that, you know, stay true to yourself. Um, you know, don't do the um, window diet, which is, yeah, I'll have a Big Mac and a large fry and a shake and an apple pie. I don't even know what they have at those places anymore, but um, beware of salad bars. Beware of prepared salads with their prepared dressing. Be armed and dangerous. You know, I was doing Bolt House that has carrageenan in it. And somebody finally said to me, why don't you just make it at home? Oh, you know, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. It was such a duh moment for me. And I'm an olive oil lover. I don't love vinegar. And so I just have two tablespoons of olive oil, evu, on my salads. <clears throat> And a tablespoon of, I know, it's moldy blue cheese, but it's a tablespoon and it's a better bad choice. And as long as I'm maintaining my weight, I'm not looking at, it's it's not the tablespoon of blue cheese that's going to get me into trouble, right? Um, <clears throat> and I measure all of my nut butters that I put in my yogurt and things like that. So be careful. It is Friday. I'm at 11 minutes and I didn't want to go this long, but I did. And so take care of yourselves. You know, arm yourselves, use your tracker, drink your water, um, 911 me if you're on my personal page, um, tell on yourself if you need to um, arm yourself and guard yourself against things that are going on, no messy Mondays, and uh, it's stressful, this is, we're down to the crunch, so um, anyway, look out for those crazy shoppers and drivers, that's all I have to say, is I am staying away from that area of my town, Woo! Those people in cars are, are th th those are, those are enemy, <laughs> enemies. Forget the parking space, just getting there. So anyway, have a, and the Christmas tree shop. Oh my God. Oh, oy vey. Anyway, have a wonderful day. This has been Sarah, Weight Watcher, Cape Cod Woman, and Pearls of Wisdom and Food on Facebook. I love you. Bye bye for now.